I think about three months since the last video on the channel. I've kind of been a bit busy, like work got a bit busy and um, I've kind of, we're doing this sort of in my spare time. I haven't had spare time, <laughs> but I've been sort of doing like bits uh, slowly and surely and just sort of trying to freshen up builds from like using cigar boxes and whatnot and just improving on my technique. So with that being said, um, this is a Jacob's Biscuit CBG that's just a box guitar, I guess. Um, so old tin, uh, it's been used previously for self-tapping screw storage. Make that what you will. Um, it nearly put me off building out of it, but then I realised that it added more to the actual guitar. That you know it had had screws in it at some point and biscuits and whatever else. Um, in terms of a quick rundown of specs, you've got a sapili neck through the body, it goes through the whole way. Um, holes, rivets for the ferrules, there's the earth there. Bit of fret wire over the top there, just to stop it digging in. I learned that after my first one. Um, sapili bridge, fret wire bridge. Um, you've got a Bobster flat humbucker, literally the best pickups on the market. Um, you won't get a better sound. Um, in terms of the tin itself, so the tin, I do reinforce it, it's got wood underneath, so you can hear it's like, you know, pretty dull sort of sound. Um, blocks, I do six around the edge, they're pretty chunky um, to screw the, the top down to. And the top, I use, um, it's like a glue mix, um, it's like wood glue and a bit of PVA underneath, and I layer it up, so it's not quite as tinny sounding but you still get like a really nice resonant sound, considering it's got no sound holes on it at all, you know. But it means that it's solid. The biggest thing is that I didn't want like these boxes to buckle. Um, fretboard, you've got a walnut fretboard um, with some burnt in frets, uh, not bridge, nail string T, open back tuning pegs, a hook, and a string and an eye for keeping your string on or your strap, whatever. Um, Pickup goes straight through to jack, no volume or tone. It's something I'm getting more and more away from. Um, I kind of, I got really caught up in creating, you know, like uh, falling in line with, uh, you know, our specs and how you need, like, certain parts to make the guitar sound good. And I kind of realised that that's not why I got started with this, so um, I've gone back to creating just simple plug and play instruments, so you get what you're given, basically. <laughs> I like what's given, so <laughs> um, a lot of it comes down to this pickup as well, like I said. Um, yeah, I'll run through some quick sound demos. We'll do it unplugged actually first. That makes sense, doesn't it? So yeah, so acoustically. Acoustically packs a pretty big punch. It's got a nice resonant sound with this lid. Like I said, it's reinforced, but just enough that you still get like a uh, wicked sound. So that was some distortion at the start that you heard. But I'm doing my favourite setting, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so 
plus some distortion, uh, overdrive, same sort of, same sort of difference, you know. It's a little bit, it's playing out a bit. But... So, this is just like a clean channel. This is a really solid entry. Um, <clears throat> I've actually got more of these sort of lined up on add with tins at one point, um, which is what I was like wanting to bring to this next guitar show. Um, but I've actually only got like two left. This this Yorkshire T one is pretty good. Um, it's probably really out of tune now. Um, I opted not to really secure the top, so this was like the sort of difference. It's still secure. Um, and it's still got the blocks in the side, but I wanted to see if I left the tin like really loose, how would it sound like? And it's kind of a bit warbly, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like the roughness of it. Um, and again, packs a big punch with this this aged uh, humbucker. Um, yeah, cool. So anyway, that's not what this one video was about. <coughs> Jacob McVitie's, Jacob McVitie's, Jacob's um, vintage. Um, tin guitar, um, like I said, absolutely wicked. I've got a load of tin to it. I'm basically going to be doing a few more of these as a run up. But as with the nature of these tins, as you can see from the storage bits, they're all completely, absolutely 100% unique. So, yeah, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put any other specs in the description. Um, but thanks for checking out this video, and thanks for everyone that's been following and liking us on socials and that. Um, I appreciate that the tutorials haven't quite got there yet, but I have drawn up a, a plan, like, so a plan to be a little bit closer. <laughs> All right, man. <clears throat> Ciao.